Next presenters are Nara Ikuesine High School and Haoshan St. Paul's High School. The title is Unhappiness Actually Bring Us. Please welcome them with big hands. Hi, everyone. We're students from St. Paul High School. Nara Ikuesine High School. This is our outline of the ingredients of happiness. Please enjoy our presentation. Today, I would like you to think about happiness. Please watch the video. I guess happiness would be uh, being honest to yourself. Oh, I'm thinking about the video that the teacher showed us. How can we define happiness? Well, I think there is no absolute definition of happiness because the factor of happiness is different from person to person. But it might be possible to find some ingredient. Ingredient? Yeah, but what urged you to ask me about the question? Because my father had passed away last week. Oh, I'm sorry for father, um, but uh, how old was he? He was only 50 years old. He was too young to die. His life was not long, but he told me he was happy. Meanwhile, some people feel unhappy that they cannot live a long time. So I started to wonder. Uh, uh, what happiness is? Well, from that point of the view, it seems like living a long time is not a matter of happiness. It is a deep question of us to pursue happiness. I think that the happiness is like the last student in the video said, doing what we really want to do may be con connected to our happiness. For example, Presuming a dream can lead us to happiness. And a person who make an effort for their dream can get happiness too. I see. Dream making an effort. Hi, what are you thinking about? Well, I'm thinking about the ingredients of happiness. Yeah, Selene told us pursuing a dream can be connected to our happiness. Yeah, it makes us feel hopeful about our futures. But I don't have a dream to, to pursue now. And, and also, I don't have the motivation to, to great reform. I see, Sarah. I did not have a dream when I was a junior high school student, but uh, that soon changed. How did it change? Okay, I will tell you my story. When, uh, one day when I was a junior high, when I was with my friend, lightning suddenly struck right in front of me. Oh, that's scary. I was close to death. But at the same time, I felt deep, great, deep gratitude for the time I've had. After all, I realized that our lifetime is limited. I regretted not having a dream and not making an effort for it. After all, I accepted that someday I'm going to die. I made a dream to puzzle, 
it is to become a kindergarten teacher. Wow, that's how you <coughs> find a dream. And I know you are making an effort for it. Now, it sounds like thinking about uh, this can, can help us find all the romance to pursue. Then we would, would you like to ask the audience to think about the question show on the side. First, please imagine that you are going to die. I know that's a sad thing, but it's the truth that we have to face it. Um, before, the, I guess that most of you will came up with a sentence such as, before I die, I want to, or I would like to. We asked the same question to the students in Japan and in Taiwan, and most of them answered the question as they have their dreams or their things that really want to do. So this might be one of the unhappiest things in our lives. The data shows thinking about this helps us realize what one wants to accomplish in their life. If accomplishing our goal is our happiness, thinking about this can be an ingredient of our happiness. Everyone knows that we will, go, we will die, but we often forget it. However, when we accept the fact that we, are, we will die, that our life is limited, we can pursue a dream. It makes an effort to pursue our dream. It motivates us to make an effort or a dream. Hi, Sarah and Selim. Have you found, found your ingredients of happiness? Yes, the unhappiness things in our life can be ingredients. Like what? This, accepting that we are going to die can be one of the most important ingredients. Remembering we are going to die motivates us to make an effort for our dreams to come true. By the way, everyone, have you ever wondered what you can do in your life? Before I die, I want to be a dietitian. Before I die, I become a kindergarten teacher. Before I die, I want to afford this. Before I die, I want to travel around the world. Before I die, I want to become an overseas consultant. Finally, I found my dream. Before I die, I want to be a teacher. Lots of wonderful dreams. Since you all know that life is limited, you have motivated to make an effort to find a way to true happiness. Therefore, unhappiness leads to happiness. Thank you for listening.